To be honest with you, I'm the reader that I have in mind when I write my books. I write books that I want to read. I write books that I want to devour and stories that excite and inspire me. And then I just have to hope that there's someone out there who would be inspired and excited by the same things I am. I want to tell stories about interesting people in very exciting circumstances. And so for me, the most exciting circumstances involve sex and suspense. So that's what I write about. As a writer and as a person, I am interested in what lies behind the mask. I am not interested in the pretty mask we all put on. So for my characters, as in life, when you first meet someone, we are all very good at, hello, nice to meet you, I have my perfect mask. This is who I am, aren't I perfect? But as my books progress, as my characters progress, the excitement is when we take off the mask to find out the truth. In the third book, we find out everything about the club. So in books one and two, the club remains abstract and difficult to pin down. But in the third book, you get all the answers. And you know, it's funny, in my experience in this age of Netflix and people binge watching TV shows, etc., I keep finding people like to binge read as well. So what's really exciting is when the entire series is out, people like to start at the beginning and take an entire weekend and get immersed in these characters and in this story and they don't even come up for a breath. So I'm excited for people to be able to immerse themselves in this story and these characters and find out what the club is all about. I know that my writing is very distinctive and my voice is very unique. I'm not actually trying to do that, to be honest with you. It's just the way I think. I'm putting myself on the page. And this means I am making myself vulnerable because people are going to love me or hate me because I'm not middle of the road. I know that. So for those who hate me, I'm sorry. But for those who love me, thank you. Because when you do read my books and you read the way I think and the way I talk, and the way that I put words together. It's me. It's just the way I see the world. I'm not trying to do it. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm a little bit different. I'm a little bit weird. So it is a wonderful feeling for people around the world to embrace me. So thank you.